Hey, mathematicians, we're here with Tom. Hello. <laughs> and we are playing Ant Wars. Tom, what have you named your aunt? Jeff. And my aunt is Anna. All right, we'll write our names on. So Anna and Jeff, however <laughs> you want to spell your made-up aunt. And we've got our post-it note cups in here. And I'll go first just so I can show you how the game works a bit more. So uh, could you unwrap that one for me, please, Tom, and that one? In one post-it note cup, we have one to six. The other post-it note cup, we have two, four, and eight for our Dublin strategies. Are you a star at that, Tom? And we'll unfold this one as well. So it's three groups of, I'm hoping for a big number. Ooh, got lucky for the first one. Eight groups of three. Tom, which strategy should I use for eight groups of three? Double, double, double. Awesome. How do you know that? Well, what strategy is the best one for our twos? Double. Yep. And then the fours? Double, double. And then the eights? Double, double, double. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So I'll draw eight rows. So I usually draw four and then another four just to check the count. Make sure you keep an eye on me. You don't want me to cheat and steal land away from Jeff that I shouldn't have. Because whoever's ant has the most at the end wins. And now I'm going to think 8DDD. Yep, so I've just written a little DDD at the top there. And then I underline the other number. And I'm going to go double three, six, double, double, equals 12, double, 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 24. Do you agree? Yep. Yeah? Are you sure? Yep. Yep. All right. So then I claim that land and I might shade my land in red. What color would you like for Jeff? It's Jeff's favorite color. Blue. Blue, sweet. And then we'll scrunch these up again and I'll sort of shape them around. So I'm hoping you don't get eight because <laughs> I want my aunt to win and you want your aunt to win. Yeah. All right. Pick any post-it note you like, buddy. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's a bad start for Jeff, boy. <laughs> so, what strategy are you going to use for this one? Double. Double. So, double the other number. Oh, they're both the same for this one. Perfect. Two rows, two across. Absolute superstar. And then just color it in your color so we know that one belongs to you. You're a champ, mate. That was perfect recording. <laughs> oh, next time, just shade it a bit lighter yeah, so I can yeah. still see it, but that's cool. Oh, and make sure everything goes back in the right cup. Sweet. All right, my turn. Yeah, shake that around. Hoping not to get them too, but it might happen. Okay. Yeah, you got the three. And the two. Oh no. So, what strategy should I use for this one, Tom? Bubble. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to write a little D, double the two. Oh, well, actually, doubling is my strategy for the twos. Underline the three, double three, six. Shade over it, and your turn. Oh, nice. All right. Make sure you don't pick a one from here, though. Mm -hmm. 
and you can go wherever you like. And then towards the end of the game, part of the challenge is we'll run out of squares. So then it's like, where do we fit our land? And if it can't fit, then we'll miss that turn or we might try to break the times table into parts. So talk me through what you were thinking as you solved it. Um, so double eight, when no, double three is six, and then double, double, um, six again. That's twelve, and then double twelve again, and that's twenty-four. Perfect, buddy. Yeah, that's nice. Right. Excellent. Who's winning at the moment? No, you. By how many? Two squares. Yeah, so it's a pretty close game. Okay. I'm trying to jiggle these up. We keep getting three. You got a two. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you got a four, actually. Oh, decent. But only a two. Two before. Okay. So, four rows of two. And two groups of four. I could use either, couldn't I? I could use double, double, or just double. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go with just double. And so I'll just think double, four, eight. Nice and quick. Now, to make it a bit more challenging, because you're going really well, I might cross off two on this and make this worth eight. And basically, anything we pull out of that yellow one, I'll probably make it a larger number. Because I've got one to six in there at the moment, but you're smashing this. So I'll up the numbers for you as you pull them. So go pink first. And then if you pull a low number on your yellow, I'll up it for you. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one now too, because you're too good for it. So doubles are out. We only got four and eights in play. And you know what that's called when you draw like eight down and four across? It's mm. called an array because it's mm. arranged as a rectangle or a square. How'd you solve double 16? I just did, um, so I did one, plus, so I just got rid of the six and I went one plus one is two and then six plus two, six is 12 and then 20 plus 12 and then that's. That is brilliant, ten, buddy. Two. Do you know what that's called? That strategy where you sort of split the tens and the ones? No. The split strategy. Makes sense, doesn't it, the yeah. split strategy? Because you like split the tens, split the ones, and then boom, yep. add them back together. And that's a pretty hard one. Yeah. And you can do it in your head if you're getting used to it now. 48. How'd you figure it out? Because last time I had four by six, and since since um it's double that, then it's an extra 24. Spot on. High five, mate. Great game.